Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. This is our second Genesis 2 base location guide, and this time we will show you the top 10 base locations in Rockwell's Garden on the left side of the Genesis 2 map. We will give you all the GPS coordinates and map locations for each base, and we will show you some epic resources you can find nearby. We have everything from tiny hidden solo rat holes to massive Alpha Tribe base locations. Whether you're into PvP or PvE, we have some great options for everyone. If you're in a hurry, use the timestamps in the description of this video to skip around. And if you want all the best base locations on the Eden Zone on the right side of the Genesis 2 map, check the link in the description for our guide on 10 more epic base locations for Genesis Part 2. Please like and share this video, comment and subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And let's get started! So this first location is a great base location for an alpha tribe. It is a massive cave with three big entrances, but it is actually very well hidden from most sides. And it's got a lot of really good resources right inside and just outside. Speaking of which, here is a ton of metal, crystal, and obsidian just sitting right outside your front door, just close enough to uh, get a lot of good resources, but not close enough to block everything. So after we fly past all these flowers, there's a bunch more crystal right inside and look at the size of this cave it is just massive in here more crystal loads more obsidian lots of good stuff all over the place you've got a water supply right inside this cave and scenic waterfalls is always a nice bonus right now here is the biggest most open entrance this is actually pretty easy to spot from a long ways away so it's not going to be a great option for somebody who wants to really hide but there are some nice little nooks and crannies inside this cave you you could hide pretty well even if you're just trying to uh, make a small little outpost. You will have to fight off a bunch of creatures inside, but uh, we'll show you the last entrance over here. It's actually kind of nice because you can trap some creatures in here pretty easily too. So this is the third entrance and uh, once again lots of good resources right around the entrance here too. And this one's a lot more hidden. So this is going to be a great base location for any huge tribe or anyone who is uh, just wanting to live in inside a giant mountain. There's also a lot of rare flowers right outside the entrance too. So basically everything you need right outside this giant cave. But we are just getting started. We've got lots of much smaller, more hidden bases coming up next. So this next base location is one of the most secretive, easy to defend base locations in all of Genesis 2. This is a tiny entrance just coming out from this tentacle right here, and you've got to almost hit the water to get to it. So it is a very secure location, but once we get up close, you can see it's actually big enough to fit a Spino in here, no problem. And check this out, you've got a beautiful waterfall right inside, it's well lit with this glowing tentacle. The uh, place is not quite as flat as I would like but you can still build a pretty good base in here and have a lot of fun with it there's actually a water supply right here in this pool now you will have a little bit of trouble because there is an explorer note cache down here in the bottom but uh, as long as your server is not going to cause problems having that in here you're going to be in great shape there's also a pretty good amount of metal right on top of it on these plateaus above so uh, you can get some pretty good resources right here now this base location is pretty big, but it's actually very well hidden too. There's some metal right outside this entrance, and uh, you can barely see this cave entrance right here, even from pretty close up. But as we get closer in, you can see it's actually a pretty big cave in here. There's a couple of holes, and uh, might be a little bit hard patching up, but there's a lot of great spots you could build inside this cave if you want to have a small hidden base. There's a lot of little shelves up here and places to hide. But uh, this side is not nearly as well hidden if somebody comes out from this side, but it's still a pretty good option if you want a nice little cave to spread out and have fun in. You can also get some really pretty feather lights, as you can see right there. But uh, there's one more little place up at the top is a little nook and shelf you can build on up here. And even though there's a lot of holes in here, it's going to be way harder for people to find you than most places on the Genesis 2 map. And there's a lot of flat areas on top if you want to expand and build out on top, too. 
Now this base location actually has a couple of really good building spots right next to each other. So we're going to look to where this tentacle comes down almost to the ground and that marks the first entrance. It is actually a very tight cave entrance right here, but as you can see it opens up into a really big cave and there's actually a lot of room to build and spread out around here. It's also nicely lit by these glowing tentacles and uh, there's a much much bigger entrance over here that you can block off and you can get just about any dino inside this cave. So this is a great spot already. Let me show you the back entrance is uh, actually pretty well hidden in this canyon too. So people who are just flying around are going to have a harder spot finding this. But there's another really great bonus spot right next to this too. So there's the back entrance of this cave. But if we follow this waterfall right up here, it's going to take us to another smaller cave that's actually got one entrance right there. And it's actually very well hidden. There's a bunch Bunch of carniflora all around here too which are actually a really good resource but check it out you've got a nice little waterfall cave with just one entrance and there's some cool little nooks and crannies back here that you could use as a hiding place if you need to but before you move in you might want to send in an exterminator because it seems to have an ant problem now this next base location is ideal for any of my arc builder friends who want to make an epic looking base with an awesome view. Check this out. So this plateau is almost completely flat. There is a ton of space to spread out after you've chopped down all the trees or flowers or whatever you want to call these things. But uh, even if you're playing on PvE, there's a pretty good amount of space up here where you can uh, be out of reach of predators and have a pretty nice spot to live. And down in the water here is actually one of the richest metal locations in the entire map. There's probably 50 50 metal nodes underwater here at the bottom of this dam and there's a lot of spinos too so be careful tons of silica pearls and lots of other flat areas all around here don't you think this is an awesome spot Bronto he is absolutely speechless at how beautiful this is. All right, you chill here, Bronto, and we're going to show one last little bonus spot from this location. There is a tiny little nook you can kind of squeeze into, maybe get a couple foundations down. And if you want to just kind of hide a little cache back here where I don't think a lot of people are going to look for you, unless they've watched this video, of course, this is actually kind of a cool hiding spot. We'll get some much better rat holes we'll show you later in this video. But if we zoom out a little bit, it's almost impossible to find this little spot. Now this next base location is hidden right above the southern entrance to Rockwell's Garden Zone, so you may not want to build here, it's going to be a very high traffic area, but this spot is really cool, so I wanted to show you anyway, depending on what kind of server you're playing on, you may actually love this spot. But any way you look at it, this is an incredible place to get pearls. So right behind the main gate here is a tiny little corner you can squeeze into, and there's actually a pretty deep decent amount of space to build up here. It's relatively flat and uh, you could even squeeze a cliff platform back up here and have a pretty nice little hidden base. But check this out. Do you see all these clams glowing here? I'll get these raptors out of the way so I can show you what you actually get from those things. But uh, there are actually pearls here. You can get silica pearls. But look at these things. Do they look like black pearls to you? They really look like they should be dropping black pearls to me. And I'm willing to bet they were originally supposed to drop black pearls. So as they're cleaning up this map and making updates, I would not be terribly surprised if we start being able to harvest black pearls from this spot right here. But as you can see, even though they're completely black clams, they are dropping regular silica pearls. But any way you look at it, if you pop over here, you can get tons of silica pearls right now. It's still a pretty cool base location, nice and flat. And there's another little spot right next to here. If you don't want to build in this spot and block off all the pearl resources, spawns. There's a tiny little nook over here which you probably can't hide very well if you actually build a wall, but you could squeeze a little base inside this little nook right here and have a nice quick easy spot to fly over and grab those pearls. So just thought I'd show this to you guys while we're here. This next base location is not my favorite, but it is still a pretty nice spot to live if some of these other base locations are taken. So it's hard to see from way up here, and uh, there's a pretty good size entrance on either side to block off. But as you can see, it is way bigger than a Bronto, and there's plenty of space to move around in here. There's lots of water, but it is relatively small and secluded, so it's definitely a good base location to consider. 
Now, out of the hours that I spent scouring the entire Rockwell Garden Zone looking for all the best base locations for you guys, I was running into the back of every waterfall and literally banging my head against the walls trying to find some hidden waterfall caves. And this was the biggest disappointment because check this out. There is a massive cavern under here that goes back forever. But the reason it goes back is because this is actually the other Rockwell Garden entrance and it goes right out to the space biome and you can find it super easily from the other side. So I was really sad about that when I realized that's actually what this is. But I do have a really good super hidden base location for you. Now in the middle of this circle is a flat plateau which would actually be a cool scenic base location if you're looking to build something awesome. But check this out, if we go underwater here at the top of this little reservoir, there is a little spot right here that we can squeeze into right above the water and there's actually a pretty good amount of space here. This is about two stories tall and you can fit cliff platforms in the water. They'll go right up against the walls here and you can easily hide. So this is actually an extremely good hidden base location. You can just drop some cliff platforms down, build pillars coming up from them and you've got a nice little base that will be almost impossible to find. And I don't I think a lot of people are going to be scouting underwater here because it's full of all kinds of nasty creatures that'll eat you while you do that. So that's a decent option. It's still a chance they could block this off when they update the map, but I don't think they're going to. Now this spot is a pretty cool base location. I wouldn't really recommend doing this in PvP because it's right here at the end of the tech trench and it's pretty easy to find if people are really looking. But check this out, there's actually a very big tunnel, you could block off just two sides of it, and then you've got all of this space to spread out. It's not exactly flat, it's not exactly ideal, but it is a pretty decent viable option if you're into that. And here's the location of the other side of this. It's not quite as flat as I like, but with just two walls you've got a massive space to live in that's pre-built for you. Speaking of massive pre-built structures, we're actually right next to that last base location and this is a huge greenhouse that is already built for you. It's actually identical to the ones on the Eden Zone that I showed you in the last base location guide for the Eden Zone side of the map, which by the way, if you haven't seen that, check the link in the description to see all the best base locations on the Eden Zone side. But check this out, you've got tons of space to spread out. There is an explorer note here, so that might be a problem on some servers, but look how much space there is. All you gotta do is build two walls and you've got all of the space to spread out. There's also some good spots around here that are flat on top, all around the sides, lots of options here. You got some Carniflora and some other good stuff. There's water source right inside the base. And we're right on the edge of the tech trench. There's a lot of good resources right around here. If you're playing PvE, there's tons of flat spaces all over the place over here. And uh, check this out, we've actually got lots of Carniflora growing right along the base of this tower. We're right next to the entrance to the Rockwell's innards section. Right up on top of this area, right behind the tower, is actually a location where you can build an oil pump. And there's tons of rare flowers growing around all over the place here too. So both of these last two base locations I showed you have a lot of really good resources right now next to them, so check that out, there's an oil vein right here, and oil is actually one of the harder resources to find good supplies of on this map. So anywhere around here if you're playing PvE is a great option. But let me show you one more thing that I'm kind of hesitant to show you because this is a super secret, really sneaky rat hole, and I have a feeling they're probably going to patch this up in the next patch. But check this out, and uh, I really cannot recommend building back here, but there's enough space to build a pretty decent base. But as you can see, the ground is a little bit glitchy. There's actually several of these little holes going down further, and it gets more and more glitchy as you go further back. So the main reason I'm actually showing you these spots is because I want to give you fair warning. A lot of people are putting these in their videos because it is a pretty impressive little sneaky glitchy spot. 
but there's a very good chance the arc devs are going to be patching these up in the next patch they've already said they're filling in some of these glitchy holes and there's a good chance your entire base inside one of these could end up covered up and you can't even get there anymore so just fair warning if you build anywhere that seems glitchy like that there's a very good chance everything you put there will be wiped out and you might even get banned if you're playing on official servers so that was our top 10 base locations on the Rockwell Garden side of the map. I hope at least some of these were helpful for everyone. I know there's a lot of different play styles and server types out there, but hopefully no matter how you like to play Ark, you were able to find at least a couple great base spots to build on in this video. If it helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which are your favorite base locations that you've seen in this video, and I'll use your suggestions to make a new video of the top 10 base locations throughout the entire map. I'm also working on lots of resource location guides that'll help you get all the good resources you need for your whole Arc Genesis 2 game, so keep an eye out for that, make sure you are subscribed to this channel, and don't forget to ring that bell to enable all notifications, because otherwise you probably won't see when our next helpful Genesis 2 guide comes out. And thanks again for all of your awesome support in our Genesis 2 videos, we are so happy to bring them to you, and keep giving us good comments on suggestions for what information would help you out the most in your Genesis 2 adventures. And our next video should be coming out really soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around. That helps us out a lot. And drop a comment. We love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we have lots more videos like this coming out really soon and you won't want to miss any of them. We already have tons of other videos for you to watch right now, so check these out. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video.